today's video is gonna be super fun. It is Lola cooking sinigang for our family. Sinigang is a Filipino soup. It's our favorite meal ever. It's very important to my husband and I that maids experience different cultures. Recording Lola making sinigang for our family is a way that I'm going to be able to teach my kids for years to come her culture, her way of cooking. We cherish the time with Lola and we absolutely love her cooking. So we thought it would be fun to share the love with you all. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I wish you could taste through the screen how amazingly delicious this dish is. I craved it all through my pregnancy and I was so excited that she was gonna make it for us because I wanted to pick her brain so that I can learn to make it for my kids as well. Seafood City has everything that we need so to make this dish. So we got the pork neck bone, and they're gonna chop it up. And then for me, what, pork butt, boneless? Yeah. Pork, pork boneless. butt, boneless, like chopped in big cubes, right? Or maybe pork picnic. Mm. They look like the same meat, but yeah, a but little bit one, cheaper. This one, not only that, because there's one, uh, this one has a balat to make titaron. Oh, that you, fat? You put it stir fry. Fat, okay. Okay. I cannot leave here without getting some, I don't want longanisa this time. I actually want tocino. Where's the tocino? Where's the tocino? Beef tapa's good. This, okay, the chicken is a little bit healthier, but let's keep it real. The pork is the best. So I'll get a couple of these for like special breakfasts. Okay, Lola's also making pancet, so she's got to get noodles. Uh, gonna have a big uh, Oriental style. Okay. Yeah, Do you mix it? Okay. Don't you get two different kinds? Yeah, yeah, we mix it. Okay. Have... And the big one, so it's the Oriental style. Canton, huh? Canton noodles? Yeah. And then this one. Bihon, oh, right? One. This one? Uh, where is it? Right here. Bihon? This one. Okay, vermicelli. I like this. Okay. A good one. Oh, how cute is this? How cute. Yeah, this is good for It's so you, cute. You have a chicken breast? Just boil it. Oh, that's a good idea. Good. Maybe I should get one of these. How much are they? What? I'm just, how much is yeah, Just, just boil Tanola. right there. I know it's not the brand down below here. Look down below. I know that's not the brand that you like, but. Is it two dollars? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get some and bring it home. Yeah, is that cheap? I'm not sure why it was cheaper here, the seasoning packet for the sinigang soup, but Lola was excited, so she grabbed a bunch to take home with her. Oh, I didn't know. Because look, there's a sinigang mix here, look. Look. Oh, it's the same. Sinigang. Okay. Oh, well, look at this, sinigang miso. Mm. Oh, miso. That's interesting. These things are called taro roots. They're kind of like little mini potatoes, but I did some research actually, and they have three times the amount of fiber as a regular potato in similar size. Well, first step, Lola, is removing the tissue and fat from... Some of the, some of the how do you call this thing? Fat. Is it fat? Fat and, tissue from... fat? From the pork shoulder and... Yeah. What's the other one? The pork shoulder and neck bone. Neck bone. See, like this. Remove all this. This is not a good one to cook. So you just do like that. But you're saving the big skin that comes on this yeah. here mm -hmm. on the pork shoulder to make chicharron. You, know, you don't really need to, you don't really want it to put it there. Because that's another different to make food. Yeah, well this is gonna be a really good chicharron right here because look, look, there's meat on it too. It's gonna be good. 
See, I've been removing this because it's not good. See, it's not good to see it down. These are the other ingredients we got. Some jalapenos um, and some green beans. Green mustard. These are uh, taro small roots. taro roots, like kind of like a potato if you've never had one. White potato. But a white potato, but it's a little bit different. And then this is the sinigang mix. And this is like the that, soup base. In Filipino version, they call it gabi. Gabby. Okay, we're going to do two green beans. Yeah. Green beans is probably one of my favorite things in the Senegon. And then you're going to put other things too, but she'll show you that later. Lola boiled the meat for about 15 minutes and now she's going to rinse it. This kind of brush you on. So see... Your mother, your mother. Your mother? Your mother-in-law. Yeah, I'm mother-in-law. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is my mother-in-law's brush you on from Bulacan. And that's it. For 10 minutes, then now we're removing the impurities of the meat, all the pink scum. And so now we have to rinse the, our sink is clean, sometimes. And we rinse it, we rinse it so much the meat to make sure there's no more impurities left behind. And then that's it for now. You already skim or no? Yeah. Okay. We so, already throw the, the impurities. So uh, they're so washing the meat yeah, very and now good. Now we're rinsing the meat very well, so all that uh, debris and, and impurities or scum will be removed. So there you go. Rinse it well. <laughs> so uh, we're ready to really boil it with clean water, and then after that, we're gonna put all our ingredients. The peppercorn up here. Mm. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. no, actually, right here. Chop up. So we put peppercorn there. Yeah. Okay, maybe a spoon. Uh, so not a lot, actually. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. To have a taste, and then I'll put a little, so one teaspoon of brown. Where's the brown pepper? Then we put a little bit, because the kids might not gonna like spicy food. So just one little teaspoon. Okay. Onions and tomatoes for Sinica. Uh, there you go. That's our version. And tomatoes. I already know there's going to be a lot of Filipinos in the comments saying, that's not how you do it. But this is Lola's version. Right. Our Lola's version. That's right. You have your Lola's version. This is our Lola's version. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. At least uh, maybe two tablespoons or two teaspoons of peppercorns. That's it for now. I'm using the Pamana tamarind soup base or sinigang sasampalo. So I have to put the. Uh, so I make sure I can measure it. But on my version, this is how I do it. I don't uh, really. So you put like half or uh, more than half? More than half because this, this soap has a lot. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> yeah. Then if I put the gabi now. Oh yeah, there's that smell. Now it smells, mm. it smells good. What? I think I should put the, the, how do you call it? Let me see the meat if it's tender. Then I can put the, it's still hard. So, but I can put the taro right now. Oh, oh yeah. The, the smell and this taste will penetrate to the soup. She already put the taro, taro, white potatoes. She put it in so fast, I couldn't get it. <laughs> Where'd it go? So it's there. hard to find it with oh, the, my... I go deep under. There. There. That's the taro. Mm, you guys, I wish you could smell this. Smells so good. Yeah? Yeah, Tazeo. Somehow with the hustle and bustle of six kids coming home from school and Lola's quick ninja skills, I missed some footage on when she put in the batiste, which is some fish sauce, not too much of it. And then towards the end, she put in some mustard greens and the green beans to complete it. Wait, there's some frozen okra in there, frozen whole okra, which I love. So yeah, sorry that we don't have that little bit of a snippet, but you get the idea. This dish is 
is absolutely amazing. Synagogue. <laughs> so good. You like synagogue? Yeah, I'm already almost done. You're almost done? You can have more? <laughs> what more? do you think, Ace? But, but your What's your favorite part of synagogue? Your mommy doesn't have much vegetable. The, what's this called? What's that called? Mustard greens? Ooh, thank you, Lola. You are very welcome. <laughs> eating synagogue for breakfast? Yep. It's so the next day, eating synagogue again. See you, see you for breakfast. I'm having some too. Baby Tazeo had some too. He has yeah. synagogue? <gasps> yes, synagogue for breakfast. You didn't have eaten. <laughs> you can see the rice. Oh, he has le leftover rice. <laughs> now Lola's making I'm gonna panset. Make, I'm gonna make panset. Panset. Yeah. I'm gonna eat panset. And you're gonna eat panset, Lily? For breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Big thank you to Lola for coming and visiting us and meeting baby Tizeo for the first time. He was seven months old. That's what makes this trip so much sweeter is the first time she met her grandbaby. I look forward to seeing you guys in another one. Bye, guys. Ooh.